This is a favorite topic of mine, and that's medications that can result in funny mitotic arrest patterns. Ooh. And my favorite, this sort of vintage one, is colchicine toxicity. You see colchicine toxicity not very many times in your career, but you want to call the colleague if you do. And you see it in patients who have renal or hepatic disease who just can't clear the drug, and it has a spectacularly long half-life. The findings are best seen in the duodenum. Presumably it has the most turnover. And the important thing is that you only see the cool mitotic arrest pattern in normal mucosa in toxic patients. But if a patient happens to have a neoplasm and is taking a therapeutic dose, you'll see just crazy stuff in the neoplastic process. And that's really fun. Regardless of the site, you see the mitotic arrest pattern in the proliferative compartment. So in the esophagus, it's in the basal layer. In the stomach, it's in that pocket between the pits and the surface. In the colon, it's at the bottom. And in the gallbladder, it's kind of a little higher up. So you have to kind of know where your proliferative compartment is. So this is a beautiful duodenal biopsy. This patient had horrendous diarrhea was taking colchicine, and you'll notice that our, our crypts are expanded. Here are our Brunner glands, so our villi by, by default are a little on the short side, but it's not very inflamed. And at high magnification, we can see the telltale sign. So we're in the proliferative compartment, and we have mitotic arrest that manifests as ring mitoses that are easy to find. So very, very cool pattern. Here's another example of a gastric biopsy in a patient with colchicine toxicity. It's kind of at the angle, uh, but the surface looks pretty darn good. Down here we can't really see, but in the proliferative compartment we have ring mitosis, ring mitosis, ring mitosis, probably another one here, and then apoptotic bodies, such as indicated here, are very easy to find. So very characteristic, and it makes you think of dysplasia until you sort of step back and say, wait a minute, surface is fine. All right, so colchicine is an alkaloid. It has antimitotic ability, and of course it's used for a wide array of medical conditions, classically of course for gout, but nowadays it's used also for familial Mediterranean fever and lupus and rheumatoid arthritis and, and uh, several other immune conditions. To me it's kind of eye of newt medicine and the poor rheumatologist doesn't know what to do so he or she just tries colchicine to see if the patient feels better. If the patient becomes toxic, it can actually prove lethal, so you don't want to mess around if you spot these changes.